Good morning and welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit for Wednesday, October the 30th, 2024. It's hump day today. If you make it over today, you're over the hump for the week. So we look forward to the great weekend that we're supposed to have this weekend. And here we go with the Breakfast Biscuit. 6.05 a.m. and this morning we look at productive and useful. That's the title from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4 and following. So the weather, which is of some significant interest for us today. 74 degrees on the way to 80 for a high. And here comes the news. Southeast wind, we said yesterday, always brings rain. And it howled all day yesterday. It'll howl again today to 20 miles an hour, bringing us an 80 to 90% chance of rain, depending on who you're listening to, and rain in the forecast for the next week. <clears throat> that ought to set back the drought just a little bit. So good news there. Sunday at our home in the Holodome. Again, pastor of SeaTex Church. We meet in the Holodome on Walden Road at 10 a.m. on Sundays. We continue the series Conversations with Jesus. This week, a conversation between Jesus and a lawyer. After other Jewish leaders had made two unsuccessful efforts to trip Jesus up, they brought in a lawyer. And Jesus ate his lunch and helped me and helped you. Let's unpack it together Sunday morning. So, Productive and useful, off we go. Some things are just useless. And there are lots of old sayings that come to mind. Useless as mag wheels on a Volkswagen. Useless as everybody in Southeast Texas immediately thinks of certain things on a boar hog. Uh, useless as socks on a rooster. You ever heard that one? How about woodpecker with rubber lips? That's pretty useless. Or useless as a bacon sandwich at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> or or a handbrake on a canoe. Certain things are just useless. My dad used to say, we have all the PhDs we can use, we just need a few good body and fender men, meaning men who could actually do something. The other end of the spectrum is handier than. Like, one day I got a flat uh, on a trailer in the marsh and uh, didn't have a jack with me, so I figured out a way to use the four-wheeler winch to get the back end of the trailer off the ground and I'm out there with an old single shaft, regular lug wrench trying to work on this thing. And there was a truck pulling a boat out of the water at the ramp that stopped. And the guy handed me an impact wrench, a cordless Milwaukee impact wrench, the right size socket already on it. I was done in about a minute. I bought one later that day. Very, very useful. Some things are useful and productive, like a pocket on a shirt or a handle on a suitcase. However, some people, regrettably, are useless and unproductive in the body of Christ. Others are as useful and productive as can be. What makes the difference? Well, listen to what the scripture says. First, Second Peter chapter 4, verse 1, or 1, verse 4, that's what it is. And because of his, namely Jesus, because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. In view of all of this, make every effort to respond to God's promises. Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence, and moral excellence with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness <clears throat> with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love for everyone. The scripture goes on in verse 8 and says this, which is our key verse for this morning. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have been given promises because of his glory and excellence, and those promises are our lifeline. Remember this morning what the scripture says, supplement your faith, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, with moral excellence, knowledge, self-control, patient endurance, godliness, brotherly affection, and love for everyone. Seems to be a lot of similarities between that list and the list of the fruit of the Spirit. The more you grow in those things, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. What does it mean to be useful and productive in the kingdom? You help and cause, You pardon me, you help and I'll get it right in a minute. You help the cause and the people of the church. That's what it means to be useful and productive. You glorify God. You bless people, period. Let me ask you this. Are you doing those things? Are you helping the cause and the people of the church? Are you a blessing to everyone you meet? If you want to improve, look at how the Bible says to do it in Second Peter chapter 1, verse 4. Let me pray for us. 
Father, we ask you today to make us useful and productive to you in the kingdom of God, not in order to earn our salvation, but because we are saved. Let us love you back by doing these things that the Apostle Peter has pointed out to us this morning for your glory and for the blessing of your people. Lord, we love you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.